He could. I mean, a lot of it was the matchups, and you know, I'm trying to find ways to get them onto the floor. So, uh, you know, they they play a lot of uh, two guard, two point guard lineups. So I thought it was a good opportunity for that, and uh, I thought he played well, very well. Tom, did, you, did you see some sloppiness kind of early, especially for turnovers Carl? are high. Yeah. yeah, yeah, particularly for Carl. You know, he had to work his way, and they were, you know, coming quick on him. They did a good job with their double teams. And I thought he had good reads. I, I just thought he, he, he missed some easy outlets that he could have gotten the ball out. And, uh, you know, as the game went on, I thought he got stronger and stronger. It was 75 75 there in the fourth, and then 22 to 9 finish. Did you just like the way you guys were able to bear, bear down? And yeah, down? yeah. I thought a number of guys uh, played well. I thought, you know, Wade got us off to a good start, and then he made big plays for us in the fourth. Ricky played very well. I thought G played some terrific defense for us, and we needed that. You know, it's not reflected in his in his line, but I thought he played very, very well for us. Uh, and then the bench play was really good. I thought Chris gave us good minutes. I thought Belly gave us some good minutes. You know, so that's a, that's a that's a plus. The uh, Ricky's outlet passes and things seemed to be going nice to get you guys. Yeah, we, and we yeah, and, and we didn't score the way we would have liked. You know, but uh, we needed those easy baskets. You know, and I think that's one of the ways, you know, for Carl and uh, and Wig to get go against the defense before it's set, where they can get double teams on them. You know, so we we got to run the floor hard, we got to run long, we got to run wide, and we got to get pressure on the rim. And when we do that, and the floor opens up for us, uh, there's a lot of easy opportunities where we, we, you know, Ricky can get into the paint and make plays, Tyus can get into the paint and make plays, Chris can get into the paint and make plays. So uh, the more we do that, the more easy baskets we can get, the better it is for us. They were, like you said, they were coming quickly on, on Collins much of the game. It seemed to bother him a little bit, but in the fourth quarter, did they change or did he just handle it better? Yeah, probably a, a combination of both. You know, and uh, they're they're a scrappy team. They're you know they're very well coached, and uh, you know they're down some people right now. They're going through their trade stuff, and uh, but they're, they're that's a tough club, tough club. Wig had the, the good, great first quarter scoring wise. Then um, to get him, see him get seven boards and kind of go to work and, and find some guys as well as as they changed up. Was that nice to? Yeah, and, and again, his playmaking I think is really improved. And I want him to trust the pass. And uh, you know we have to shoot the ball well. And if we take the right shots, we're going to shoot it well. You seem to have really good transition defense for the most part, and also pretty good half court defense. Is it? Something was it just the last couple of days, and did people come in refocus? Well, it was one of the things, you know. And we know we have to work at it, you know. To if, if to win consistently, we we have to improve our defense. We know that, and we got to work at it every day. And 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 I like the effort. Uh, uh, our first day back, and uh, yesterday in practice, and today in the shoot around, and we know that's that that's key for us. And. Uh, we'll, we'll go as far as our defense is going to take us. Our offense is fine. We, we can score plenty of points. It's our defense. And we have, everyone has to prioritize it, uh, particularly Wig and Carl. Uh, they have to set the tone for this.